Hello friends, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Today I would like to guide you about useful tips for civil engineers. If you are working on construction site, if you are studying, so these are some useful tips which I am discussing in this short video. So therefore watch this video till the end to know about useful tips. Guys, the first one is here, lapping of bar. As you know, when you are providing steel reinforcement inside beam, column or slab, if the length of the steel is not sufficient, so in that case we overlap one steel rod to another to get full length of steel reinforcement or the required length. So therefore, lapping of bar. If the diameter of bar is less than 36 millimeter, so you are able to provide lapping. Lapping mean guys, you can see this is one steel rod and this is the other steel rod. So we are making joint like this and we can extend the bar. For example, if this is six meter, okay, and we have two meter this one. So we can extend and get eight meter length okay so this is called lapping length so if the diameter of the bar is less than 36 millimeters so you are allowed to apply lapping length if this is more than this so you are not allowed okay so for that we are using different methods or coupler method or coupler okay the other one is guys circular column as you know we are providing a rectangular column or we are making construction of rectangular column, square column, also circular column. So if you are making construction of circular column, if that is residential building or commercial building, remember guys, use minimum six numbers of longitudinal bars. If you are making construction of circular column, not square or rectangular, in that case, you can use minimum four numbers of steel rods. In, uh, in uh, rectangular or square column but this is circular so used minimum six numbers of longitudinal bar so this is the other important tip next one is guys thickness of slab thickness of slab so minimum is 0 0.125 meter or 125 millimeter or you can say minimum is five inches it depend on the structure load etc but i am recommending you guys provide many uh, this is minimum 5 inches, but I am recommending you, normally you can use 6 inches thickness of the slab. This is the other tip. Next one is guys, compressive strength of brick. The minimum compressive strength of brick is 3.5 Newton per mm square. But it should be more than this because this is the minimum. But if you have less than this, it means so this is 6, 7, 8 numbers of brick okay but this is minimum 3.5 so if you are making construction of a house okay if you want to uh, build it from the brick masonry or from the brick so remember this is 3.5 newton per mm square is the minimum but you can increase and in, it's depend on the uh, different quality of bricks or first class second class etc the other one is guys dpc dam proof course so the thickness should not be less than 2.5 centimeter or you can say one inch okay it should not be less than this but normally you can use from 1.5 to 2 inches because it depends on the situation on the construction site okay but normally it should be minimum 2.5 centimeter it should not be less than this which is is equal one inch next guys you can see RMC if someone asks from you an interview or if you are working on construction site, so they will tell you bring RMC for this construction. It means ready mix concrete. Ready mix concrete. So now let me guide you in detail. It is made of it is made at factory, ready mix concrete, and transported to the site. We are not uh, making this uh, concrete on the construction site but this is ready mix concrete we have a factory we bring from factory and transport it to the site the other one is guys it is used where there is a lack of space for mixing the concrete if you are bringing uh, in a truck the concrete because the space is uh, sometimes we have long space so in that case uh, inside the drum or inside the truck it mixing by himself uh, 
by their self okay the concrete are mixing on the way so therefore it is used where there is a lack of space for mixing the concrete so in that case you can uh, use the uh, rmc next one it is used where a huge amount of concrete is required for the construction site normal for normal construction site we don't require it uh, that's why because on the uh, uh, on the time we are uh, providing the uh, concrete mixture and you can make the concrete easily on that time because that is for normal residential building or for commercial building but for huge project or for huge amount of concrete we are providing rmc ready mix concrete now guys the other one is curing period of rcc what is the period uh, the curing period of rcc so that is uh, finally 28 days okay so in 28 days you can get the full strength of concrete if that is m7.5 m5 m10 m15 m20 m25 that's why because in different days we have different uh, so when we so we are when we are testing the concrete in cube and compressive machine okay and the concrete uh, uh, sample we are taking like this which is minimum like this okay so which size is 15 centimeter 15 centimeter and 15 centimeter okay or you can say six inches six inches by six inches you can make a sample of concrete then we can put it in compressive machine after seven days after 14 days after 21 days and the final is 28 days so you can also check the curing period of rcc that's why because in these days we are making its curing so therefore the final days are 28 so in 28 days you can know that what is the compressive strength of concrete okay the other one is guys minimum cell level cell level means guys you can see here uh, suppose this is uh, the front elevation this is the front elevation and here guys you can see this is window and this is the door okay so what is cell level so from the ground level or from the plinth level to the uh, level of the window this is called cell level so this cell, cell level should be minimum 12 inches but normally 2.5 feet or 3 feet but uh, minimum is 12 inches okay the other one is guys angle or slope of steers angle or slope of steer is guys you can see here this is staircase okay here this is angle or slope of steer guys you can see these are steps okay so normally you can use angle or slope of steer from 25 to 40 degree okay so it's depend on the side and also it's depend on the uh, length and also the uh, the height of the steer but normally you can keep uh, between this video but i am recommending you from 25 to 33 when you are providing this pitch or the slope or the angle of steer that will be better for normal using okay the other one is guys width of the steer width of the steer guys you can see this is width of the steer this is landing and this is steer okay so normal width of the steer should not be less than 2.5 feet okay or you can say 30 inches so guys these are some useful and important tips which i have discussed the front of you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye